Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we're going big, cold and quiet. Today we get our hands on Be Quiet's DAC Rock 4 air cooler. While it's not the latest, it's a solid performer that is very popular still amongst many and we wanted to see exactly why. As you can see here, the DAC Rock 4 comes well equipped right out of a box with a Be Quiet Silent Wings PWN fan, plenty of paperwork, sockets for both Intel and AMD, all the accessories you need including screws, mounts, thermal paste and even the always very much welcomed and appreciated classic Be Quiet Phillips screwdriver included in a box alongside the cooler itself. The cooler is a large single tower layout that is all black with a brush steel effect on top and a small Be Quiet logo in the middle. It has capped heat pipes at the top for a more polished finish and large wave contoured cooling fins that feature small dots for added air circulation. Equipped with six 6mm copper pipes for maximum cooling performance. You get mounting kits for both Intel and AMD featuring the back plates, mounting strips with different mounting positions for different platforms and multiple mounting screws and fixings. The Dark Rock 4 is compatible with all of the following Intel sockets as seen here and also the following AMD sockets too. The fan included is a slightly larger 135mm Silent Wings PWM fan that features 9 fan blades and a durable fluid dynamic bearing that offers virtually inaudible operation. Installation is super simple with plenty of detailed images on the instructions included. As you can see here we are installing the cooler onto an ASVOC X470 Master SLI with a Ryzen 7 2700X on the AM4 platform. Simply remove any existing brackets in place, keep the existing backplate in and then attach these plastic spacers over the mounts. You then take the two fixing plates and secure them into place like seen here. Screw them in with a threaded washer on it and secure tightly. Try not to go too tight so you don't ruin your motherboard in the process. Next you need to get the thermal paste and apply it to the top of a CPU in your preferred style of application. Once you have done this, you can start to get the cooler into place. First of all you need to position it on top of a CPU keeping it nice and flat. Then take the securing bar and put it through the space at the bottom and then screw into position. Don't screw one side completely, partially screw each side so that you ensure even spread of the thermal paste. Hand tighten and then you're done with the cooler mounting. Next you take the fans and have the rear face in the tower. Make sure to have your cable at the bottom and you'll see a foam strip for anti-vibration. Take the wire bracket and put it into the holes in each corner. Place it between the fan blades of the tower and repeat on the other side and then you're done. The beauty of the Dark Rock 4 is that you have the ability to add an additional 120mm fan on the other side too with the included additional wire brackets. Plug the fan into the CPU fan header on the motherboard and then you're all set to go. Despite its large size it still offers just enough room for mounting RAM into position. If it does impede on the RAM space then you can of course have the fan and the cooler mounted the opposite direction. The large size offers a fantastic level of cooling and thanks to the high speed large fan and unique fin design it results in an impressive 200 watt TDP rating. We ran the Dark Rock 4 through multiple tests during idle, gameplay and video rendering and compared it to the likes of a performance compared to the stock AMD Wraith Prism cooler and a Noctua NHL95 cooler as well as an Antec cooler K120 AIO to see just how much of a difference that large size and high performance fan can actually make. When tested at idle, with no overclock at all on the 2700X we tested it on, the Dark Rock 4 was already 5 degrees ahead of a stock Wraith. 3 degrees cooler than the Noctua and even 1 degree cooler than the Antec AIO. We also tested during gameplay across multiple games and took the average temperature to get a ballpark figure when set at high settings and the Dark Rock once again impressed with a temp of 55 degrees. That's 3 lower than the Antec, 7 lower than the Noctua and an outstanding 8 lower than the Wraith. The real test came when doing what I do on a very regular basis and that is video rendering. We set a 20 minute 4K video to render and took the highest temp recorded from each and the Wraith and Noctua both hit 66 degrees with the Antec AIO hitting 61 whilst the Dark Rock only reached 58 degrees. And that pretty much wraps up our review of the Dark Rock 4 cooler by Be Quiet and we were left very impressed with what this cooler has to offer. Yes, it is one of the older models, but it's certainly shown why it's still a firm fan favourite and a solid seller with solid cooling performance, stable temperatures and impressive cooling under load. 
That large fan is indeed quiet for its size, although there are quieter fans available, but it's nothing you would notice too much when in your system and running. It is on the pricier side of £60 plus, but for the build quality, stunning aesthetics and solid cooling performance, you're definitely getting what you pay for. The larger size results in a much larger surface area, and that oversized fan pushes some impressive airflow too, which becomes very apparent when testing even over a 120mm AIO. With lots of socket compatibility options right out of the box, it's a very good option to consider for any platform, and for all of this we are happy to award it our free star Gadget Joe Silver Award. As always I will leave a link down below as to where you can get your hands on your own Dark Rock 4. Whilst you're there don't forget to show your support by clicking like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.